Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Crashy and today we're going to be diving into another competitive VOD review. Now, this is from a tournament and an organizer I'm not super familiar with and it happened uh, this morning. It's called the EU Rat or Eurat, I don't know how you pronounce it, Squirtle Cup. And I believe it's a primarily EU focused tournament, but you know, obviously anybody can join it. And this is a semi, no, quarterfinals match between Pip Champs and Evolution. Now, I wanted to watch this team because they're a team that I see playing all the time. I haven't really watched them before. I want to try to change it up a little bit. And they unfortunately only got in the top eight of the tournament. So let's go ahead and see uh, what's going on here. Let's talk about what's going on here. I'll have the comms on lightly. I don't know if you'll be able to hear it that well, but I'll have the comms on lightly just so I can listen. And we're going to watch what they're doing. And another reason why I like this one, this was a best of three series. They lost uh, two to one, but I'm curious with some of their picks. So I want to look at their composition and I'll kind of want to break it down. So both of these teams, let's see, let's just see what they're running. They have the Lucario, Cinderace, Blissey, Pikachu, and Snorlax. And then the enemy team is Greninja, Eldegoss, Snorlax, Lucario, and Kramer. I don't know why I was looking straight at Eldegoss and I couldn't spit her name out, and it's li literally even there on the card. Um, I think that Snorlax is banned for this tournament. I would assume that Wiggly is banned for this tournament as well. Um, but that would just be my assumption. I didn't actually look at the rules, but I'm pretty sure that's the case. So let's go ahead and watch it. And yeah, let's see what they're doing. Assuming Myth Myth is going to be jungling on this Enderays, of course. And we have Pikachu, Snorlax in the bottom lane, which is... Like I said, a very interesting decision, especially considering you could play like Cramorant or Ninetales. We'll see what they're what they're trying to achieve there. But just early farming, and essentially this is just a pretty meta team comp. Just the jungler is a Cinderace, and the what would what would you normally would see is like a Ninetales or a Cramorant is okay. So Lucario invade. Okay, so the enemy team's doing a Lucario invade. So he's calling for Freddy, the support player on Blissey to go to the lane. So he's going to try to bully the, the 1v1 here, which, you know, should be good. Um, so they're basically trading experience in a sense. He's using the uh, the score shield, and he's feeling back because they really need to try to find a way to get the jungler experience because this is definitely going to set him back because of the invade. So even if they get that kill, like, yeah, it's a little bit of experience, but that's probably still going to set the jungler back. And... Don't know if that's like a net positive or a net loss for them. Probably a net loss for them, which is why teams are starting to do that more. And I don't know how widespread the the invade strategy is, but you know, all things considered, Sanji does have a lot of experience. He's gonna pick up that power and a punch, and it looks like they're mostly winning this fight. Okay, nice. Well, that could be a kill. Oh, close. Oh well, we'll get the score shield play. Score shield on the bl Blissey that you can see that as well. Seems like that's becoming just standard meta. A lot of EXP shares starting to drop out of the meta for score shield and just having those little scores. He's gonna try to get out. Maybe. Okay, cool. So they're good. Really scrappy lane. They're just doing what they can. And it'll be really interesting to see what the effect of that early game invade was on the Dreadnought fight. So we'll see. We shall see what that looks like. Yeah, the top's completely missed. Uh, I'm just listening to some of their comms. They're debating on when they want to head down. They can't stop that score shield, so that's going to be a 20 dunk. I think that they've lost... They're, they're, it looks like they're definitely not doing nearly as well experience-wise. He was actually ahead for a while there, but... Um, yeah, I don't know. He's just a little bit behind in the early game. Just a little bit. So I'm curious to see, I mean, obviously I didn't get to watch that perspective, but how Sonata, Tales of Sonata was doing with Pikachu and kind of what the early goal is. Like they mostly lose those bees, and I'm trying to see if I can find their jungler. So jungle's seven, two, seven and nine is what they're saying. They're debating whether or not they want to trade out the Dreadnought. Because I don't think that they'll be able to get Cinderace's ult versus Greninja ult, and having the ult in this fight when you're in the full 5v5 is very, very strong. Does have the powered up punch. 
He has the ult. I can see it. Yeah, I can see the Greninja ult. Okay, so that's where this fight's going to go down. At this point, the enemy team knows that they don't want to put damage on Dreadnought. Oh, almost. I'm surprised that the enemy team even did that and didn't just hard send the fight. So now they're going to be behind in experience. They, they've lost two kills. They're, this first uh, goal is going to be gone. They can't they can't defend it, so they should just full run here. Uh, immediately leave run top, run top, run top. Yep. Yeah. Full run and try to go top or just clear jungle. So this is the position where you're you're down and everybody on the enemy team is probably going to be up like one to two levels on everyone. So the best thing that they could look to do is just farm. And this guy is even, you know, he's ahead of him, so he's even just bullying the jungle, which is really, really smart to, like, full bully the jungle, because you can't really fight this if you're the exact same character with similar items, so. So he's just going to be taking as much of the jungle as he can. The top lane is going to be probably lost, because I don't really think they can do this. I think at this point, what they need to do is just give up the majority of objectives and try to contest second Dreadnought. Like, dying here is just going to end up being more of, like, an experience deficit. But, like, right there, I would just full run, because there's there's no reason. If anybody else dies, I would say that, that that's a pretty big issue in this situation. You kind of just have to let them have it and just take the farm that you get from it. So, the one death's not the end of the world. Unfortunately, Sanji might die here as well, because he's playing against Lucario with no open space. He does dodge the power to punch, though, but he tried to get the dunk in. I, I respect yeah. it. This is, like I said, this is just farm. Like, this is... Kind of how you play when you're behind. You have to just farm. Okay, so... 24 seconds. Mm. They're already there. They can't afford to take chip damage. I want him to pull up the, the scoreboard so I can see the levels is what I'm hoping. They're, they're ranging from 8 to 10. The enemy team is probably ranging from like 9 or 10 to 11 or 12. They do have two ults. Three ults. Oh, he might be in a tough situation. He's going to try to ult here. Nope. He just got completely blown up. So the positioning there was a little unfortunate. Oh, they're just full dead. I think I, I want to rewind it. Um, okay, so I'm at 312. Let me see if I can rewind it a little bit. So look at this positioning, like right here. He goes in, and then he wants to try to get out, but he throws the bone rush into the wall. And when he throws the bone rush into the wall, he doesn't he doesn't get any damage, or like he doesn't get any distance. And so then they just kind of dogpile him, and then the fight just goes downhill from there. Um, but again, I'm like trying to look at the levels tens to twelves. Like they're just at a they're at a pretty big level disadvantage. So you can call you can hear it now. They're, this is a zap game. They use two ults. If they maybe could have got the third one. Maybe. Um, I'm not really sure. See, see, the thing is for me is I'm questioning whether or not trying to contest that Dreadnought is worth it because, you know, the reality is they probably couldn't win it, but what they could do is potentially win Zab, which maybe they could do here, but it's going to be really hard because they've just been consistently getting more and more damage off of them. Or more more kills, actually, which is more experience. And having the, like, the offlane Lucario against the offlane Lucario whenever they're both the same character and like, you know, Marv has an advantage. Is it's just really, really hard to deal with. But they get that kill, so that's good. I mean, that's that's some free experience, you know. They do need to get some points in, so that's good. They can do seventy plus here. What was that? Seventy two, seventy three plus, and then they can yeah, so they can get a nice little overscore, which is is nice. That's good. It, it, you know, it closes the gap on a little bit of experience, and it's close battles, which means that it's between 20, what, what is it, 22 points or something? I forget, whatever it is, or 29 points, 20 points. Honestly, yeah. We can, we can play for double top. Zero to 20 points. I'll keep farming. So points-wise, they're actually kind of in this. There could be an opportunity to uh, back cap. There could be an opportunity to just win Zapdos. Yeah, yeah, I have points. But really, I mean, the majority of what we're looking at here is the... Uh, the early game strength of the enemy team, how they were able to kind of shut down experience, how they were able to get the level nine before the jungler, like that was pretty much everything. And that's also just for the sake of conversation, that's why it's super, super important to let your jungler have farm because, you know, this whole game has been decided on the fact that they didn't win that first team fight thus far. Up to this point, this whole game has been decided by that first fight, that first Dreadnought, and having the Greninja ult versus not having the Cinderace ult. So, very, very important for junglers. 
Okay, so he's looking for a turn in top lane. I only have like two that are accounted for, three that are accounted for. They're counter, they're counter scoring. It's even, so so it's still the same thing, a close battle. Okay, big committed fight. Both the Karyos are zoned out. Hard to say how this fight's going down. The experience has been uh, kind of shifted around. He got an ult and they need to push back into this. They they have to, yeah. Because at this point, it's like 50-50 on who's winning. It's probably the other team, but never know. Yeah, they need to back out. He's probably dead, just based on the angle. No? Whoever had the 14 points on their team needs to maybe go for points, because that would be a quick a quick score. They either need to try to do Zapdos to force... They have no one top. They, they have to do it. They have to do Zapdos at this point. They literally don't have a choice. With the uh, the Lucario on the map. Uh-oh. Now Myth's being caught out here. He needs to stay alive because he needs... Uh, he needs to power to punch it. Oh, he tried, darn. Why did you go in the pit, man? This was actually a pretty good game. Um, I, I feel like it was. It really was the early game. Like they they lost the early game. They fell behind, and it really okay. changed the, the the first dreadnought fight. And then going into the second dreadnought fight, I wonder if it would have been better for them to just not contest it and to just continue to farm and to try to keep up as best they could going into this final fight. Um, unfortunately, it, the timing was just, it, it, they were put in a position where they, they pretty much had to, they pretty much had to try to do Zapdos when they, when they kind of hit the, the, like the Zapdos area and they saw that the enemy Lucario was turning in, they didn't really have much of a choice. They pretty much had to do Zapdos at that point. And, it, and even still, like it almost worked out for them. Uh, but a lot of what we're seeing here is just like the, the play in the early game, which was really, really tough. So um, obviously both of these teams, really, really good teams. And uh, I really appreciate the fact that all of these tournaments and these teams are playing as hard as they are. So I can break it down and kind of take a look at it. So much respect and love to all of these players. And um, yeah, like I said, this was a quarterfinal match. So this was a top eight match. Really shows you how, you know, like what's something that they could improve on. Obviously, I'm, I'm, I'm no expert, but they know that they could probably improve on their early game. And if they can tighten that up, then they were doing really, really well. I think this is a good representation of even though the score is 253 to 700, they were like really in that game. You know what I mean? They were really in there uh, keeping up. Look at the levels, you know, uh, the range from 13 up to 15 on support. Ours was, to, um, you know, the, the side that we're watching was 12 up to 14, um, you know, for the supports and, and some of the other characters. So they, they were behind, but they were they were getting there. They were getting they were getting it close. So. Who knows if they maybe wouldn't have died on the second dreadnought they could have just farmed up and, and stayed a little healthier and if they can have a better early game then they can do really well so let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below i'd love to know what you're thinking the pikachu again still i i, om I almost maybe should have seen if sonata was streaming i don't know if sonata streams i'm still still not super familiar with all the teams but a really really interesting pick i mean i'd say they did pretty well with their comp and uh yeah i'm curious what y'all think so as always friends be sure to be kind to one another tell someone that you love them and i'll see you on the next video